The city of Paso Robles could soon change the way voters elect city council members. This comes after a Malibu based lawyer alleged minority groups are disenfranchised by the current electoral system. Case by news reporter Alexa Bertola joins us live from Paso Robles this evening to explain Alexa. Scott, that's the topic of tonight's special meeting. The city council will consider by district elections, meaning voters will elect a representative from their given district. It's almost election time in Paso Robles. Voters can cast their ballots for anyone who is running for city council or the mayoral seat. This at large election system could soon change, however. This is the first step in uh, moving toward a by district election. Assistant city manager Jim Kogan explains the city would be broken into geographic districts. Council members would be elected from within those districts by the voters of each district. The possible change was sparked by this letter. It's from a Malibu based lawyer. It reads in part voting within Paso Robles is racially polarized, resulting in minority vote dilution and therefore Paso Robles at large elections violate the California Voting Rights Act of 2001. The letter goes on to say that two of the 27 appointed city officials in Paso Robles are Latino and 34.5% of the city's population is Latino. We reached out to the Slow County Latino Outreach Council. It doesn't necessarily need to be ethnicity based. It can be, you know, any other issues. You've got people in the farming community that may have very different needs in terms of representation than people that live in the core of the downtown area. How many different districts could there be? Well, that's a great question. It's actually going to be up to the um, community and the city council to determine that. And we'll have a full process for deciding whether it um, is four districts, so you would have four council members and continue the mayor at large as we do now, or you could even have up to six districts. And though the lawyer is threatening litigation, this is not a quick process. The assistant city manager says the soonest this could go into effect is 2020. It'll also require four public hearings. For now, live and local in Paso Robles, Alexa Bertola, KSBY News. We'll see what happens. Thank you, Alexa. Tonight's special meeting is at 630 at City Hall. Back in 2012, this same lawyer sued the city of Palmdale for violating the California Voting Rights Act, and the city had to pay millions of dollars in legal fees.